Uh, I would like to begin by taking your reaction to what appeared to be a landslide victory for Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu. He came into this race as a favorite, but did you uh, foresee that he would eventually garner as much as 58% more than every other aspirant on the ballot? Well, um, good evening, uh, Nigerians. Uh, and I must start by congratulating uh, Asiwaju, Bola Matinbu, the Jagaba Borno, okay. and um, a great friend, and uh, somebody I've known since around the 80s when I was in Lagos. Uh, I want to congratulate all those that lost as well. Some of them even surprised me. The Minister of the former Minister of Transportation, he got a few votes. Um, um, the Vice President got a few votes. But put all together, they don't seem to even, even if all of them were the best of them, were put together, they were not enough to dismantle 1,271 votes. So definitely, as Babajide has talked about extensively, they didn't do enough work. I mean, very simply put, I have covered primaries from 1978. And I know that aside from camping them the night or the eve of the election and giving them the dues, you spend time to connect with their communities. One of the good things that Ashwaju did in the last two, three months he visited Kaduna. He sympathized with a lot of people. He's been to so many places. In fact, there was an occasion where one of them was asking that, um, why is Asiwaju spending money in Kaduna when Lagos, there are so many poor people in Lagos? And I think somebody had to remind them that um, in Lasu, Abike Dabiri went to represent him and made a donation of some huge amount in, billion, in millions for Lagos State University. Now, he has been connecting. I would say that um, those of us that worked with MKO, I interviewed MKO on Morning Ride in 1989. I've known MKO since 1981. I knew him since 1981. And I saw him build this long before he started campaigning. On eight different occasions, I flew with MKO to Newman to go and see people. I flew with him to so many places in Hope 93. He was building over those months and years. MKO would send messages every seller to the Emir of Katsina, the Emir of Kano, mm. the Emir of, he would send to the Obi of Onicha. He would personally go and see them. He connected with them. Ashwaju has learned to do a lot of that. We were in Sheraton in 2003, Jeddah. We had just finished uh, Hajj, uh, uh, and I was sitting down in the lobby with my wife, and somebody came from my back and just covered my face like this. I said, who can this be? And guess what? My wife mentioned to me that it is your friend. So I turned, and it was Asiraju, 2003, Hajj. Mm. That's the kind of person he is. Mm. He would connect with you. He would let you know his relationship with you is not just a plain, simple one. A lot of all the fellows that ran today with zero votes, with one vote, mm -hmm. they were not connected. I sit in Sokotro. Yeah. And I can't remember the last time I saw the leader of the chapel in Sokotro. I, one or two governors that still ran up to the last minute. I have not seen them for the past four or five years. Now you have... 23 local governments and three person per local government, that's 69 people you have lost by not going to Sokoto or Zamfara or Kebi. So we, those kinds of things, as you do know, uh, uh, Babajide and Nifesi, before a production like this, you have pre-production plans, you have production plans and post-production plans. Yeah. Before you get to primaries, you have pre-primary 
consultations and activities after the primaries you have the real things about dollarization takes place the night before sometimes it goes back to the states you give them before they even come to abuja they're not going to spend their own money to come and vote they're not going to spend their own hard-earned money to come and give you a vote so sometimes you induce them whether it is a crime or dollarization it's a different matter it's another day's matter but the bottom line is that a lot of all those aspirants were not prepared a few were prepared but a lot of them just thought that you wake up in the morning you go to the social media advertise yourself and that's it there are no polling booths on the social media absolutely there is no polling booths in the social media at all 